destination mark. Hey guys, how's it going? Mario Sully here, and I've learned a lot more about Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle in the time that I had uploaded the video about it and finding out about it and this picture and uh, the Crash 2 box art picture. So. There's a lot more to go over, and I know a lot of other people have gone over it before me, so um, all I'm throwing in is my two cents and what I think about these images and such, and what we can speculate about the game, and just all of that. So let's go over the pictures, starting first with this artwork right here. Now I should also preface this entire video by saying that I don't really cover these Nintendo leaks so much. Like I covered a bunch of Crash leaks back in the day, but with these crazy... Nintendo leaks that happen like all the freaking time dating back I remember to like Smash Brothers for Wii U and 3DS There were a bunch of crazy leaks for that um, And just more leaks have happened with other products and consoles and games and all that stuff and I haven't covered all that much. Um, I haven't covered a lot from those So this I did hear oh somebody uncovered that there's going to be a Rabbids uh, Mario crossover and that there was a piece of art before this picture right here even came out that there were going to be four rabbits, four Mario characters, and the rabbits would be dressed as those characters. And now this art comes out, and that's exactly what's depicted here. So we've got Mario with a bullet bill arm cannon, looking like Samus. I've heard a lot of people make that comparison. Uh, this weird little yellow device gadget thing. Princess Peach has her own gun, and we've got Yoshi with his own gun. Luigi's got his poltergust, which is actually a pretty cool callback. We've got this Mario rabbit with a hammer. But this fucking rabbit right here, I swear to god. This was one of the- actually, this was the first image I saw cropped like this. Um, I don't- I don't really care for the whole, oh look, I'm taking a selfie, like, I- I hate selfies, whatever. Anyway, this whole thing right here looks pretty okay, it looks legit. Um, looks very stylized and cartoony, so I'm actually kind of digging it. It looks pretty cool. It looks interesting at the very least. So on to the first image. I have no clue where these people found these images. I don't know if it's a site or wherever, but this looks pretty cool. It shows all eight playable characters, the rabbits and the Mario characters, and they've got their own little monikers, as it says right here, their own playstyles and personalities. So Mario's naturally the leader. We've got the Unstable, which is a Luigi Rabbit. Uh, <laughs> freaking Ubisoft and their rating. I love how they got away with calling Peach the Badass Princess. Uh, the Yoshi Rabbit is the crazy one. Of course, keeping up with that modern theme, the Peach Rabbit, hashtag sassy, hashtag no filter, hashtag stop with the hashtags. Luigi's the Eagle Eye, which is pretty cool. Uh, the Macho Man being the, uh, the Mario Rabbit. And Yoshi just being the explosive head, which is, I guess he's their boom guy, so that's going to be pretty cool to see. Right here we've got some info about the game, including this uh, interesting cover art, which is pretty much a cropped version, a slightly edited version of the aforementioned uh, big blown up artwork. Uh, so it's going to be called Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. I love how the genre is called Crazy Combat Adventure. Of course, that crazy, that's the part we got to highlight here. The release date, sometime in August or September of 2017. So it makes you wonder when they actually started this, because I, I don't know when the, um, leaks and all that first, like, were brought up, like, when this first started. So who knows how long this, thing, uh, this thing's been in development, so, um... There's that. Now the developer is Ubisoft, and what does that say, Milan? Okay, I have no idea who they are. But, um, kind of like in a Mario Strikers kind of way, how Next Level Games was the main developer of those two games. So right here we've got Ubisoft heading the development of the game, so I'm guessing, you know, obviously published by Nintendo. So, um, that's why they get away with saying badass princess and all that stuff that's pretty funny approximately 20 hours of story mode length that's pretty uh that's pretty crazy so i wonder how much is going to be uh, explored here maybe how uh the two worlds are crossing over or whatever they're fighting on this cover here like what are they fighting uh, that's left to be uh announced i guess to be revealed and unfortunately here it says multiplayer is two player local co-op I really wish it was four player because I mean we've got eight characters to choose from so you can go as all four Mario characters, all four Rabbids characters, two Mario characters and two Rabbid characters or three Mario characters. There's a bunch of possibilities there. Um, so I, I kind of do wish that like on one screen it was the four characters and I don't know what they're going for with that but two players, it's not bad but I kind of wish it was four players. 
Okay, now this image right here uh, reveals a little bit more about um, how they're kind of deviating away from the Mario conventions. So it says right here, a distressed princess, so cliche, self-defense, kick-ass. There we go with that ass again. Um, turtle shelves. I think they mean shells. Can do better. Weapons for the first time. So, for the first time ever, Mario is not going to be just simply running and jumping on enemies. He's going to be blasting them to death and all that stuff. So, okay, maybe not to death. A little uh, over-exaggerating. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe if they brought back, like, the Mario 64 punching and kicking as well, some actual combat will be in this game. So, that's pretty crazy. A conservative universe, no more humor and self-mockery. So, we're probably going to see more modern references than just freaking selfie peach rabbit so whatever best of two worlds this image shows a little bit more about the gameplay what to expect and all that stuff exploration will be 35 percent of the game and turn-based combat is the other 65 which is pretty interesting as we can see from this image uh it looks very much like a almost platformy kingdom hearts like you know it's not just traveling with your team to go and i don't know i'm thinking like a freaking final fantasy ish kind of an RPG. When they said just generally an RPG, I had no clue what they were talking about with that because RPGs at this point in, in, in this day and age have been uh, divided into a lot of subcategories like Child of Light is like a 2D side scroller, Kingdom Hearts is almost like a platformer, combat oriented kind of a, an RPG. Of course you got turn based RPGs. There's a lot. So I'm glad to see that this is still kind of retaining that Mario kind of platforming explorative style but we're going to get some actual combat. So some turn-based combat, sort of like the Mario and Luigi games. So when we look at exploration, it says four world environments to discover. So four worlds. I'm not sure if there's going to be a bunch of like levels within those worlds or if it's just four big-ass worlds we're going to be exploring all the way through and they're kind of more open in a way. I'm not sure about that. Control of tutorial. No direct control of heroes. I'm guessing that's the tutorial. I have no clue what's going on there with that. Puzzles and Secret Zones, that's just pretty much the norm in a Mario game. Uh, Twisted Mario's World, full of Easter eggs, so I'm guessing that means that uh, Mario's World is being invaded by the Rabbids, so that's the vibe I'm getting from that. On the turn-based combat side, it says unique heroes, playstyles, which we pretty much got from how they look, what they're, the, what kinds of weapons they're wielding, stuff like that. Tactical options, dash, team jumps, warp pipes, destructible covers. So I guess that's just kind of the, the stuff to expect as we're exploring, the stuff we can interact with and things of the sort. Upgradable collectible weapons, that kind of makes sense in a game like this. I would actually kind of come to expect that. Variety of combat objectives and contextual events, so triggering things and solving puzzles and stuff to, con uh, to progress and stuff like that. Um, pretty run-of-the-mill stuff. Seven enemy archetypes and one boss slash mid-boss per world. So basically we're going to come across seven main types of enemies and how they um, act and behave and stuff like that. One boss, mid-boss per world speaks for itself. Kind of, you know, again, more common in the Mario game. Multiplayer co-op goes without saying, no need for explanation. And lastly, the timeline. How this will end up going down and how this will all happen. So in June, We've got the surprise announcement, even though all of this has been leaked, and we're going over it right now. But according to this, it'll be revealed at E3, and we'll even get some hands-on experience. And since I'm going to E3, I can definitely confirm that and show uh, some gameplay and stuff if this in fact happens. In July, we're going to get previews and stuff like that, so just more coverage, more stuff like that. Most likely from Nintendo themselves, maybe a bit more from Ubisoft. And in August, the big launch. So, um... Apparently, they're going to show up some more stuff at Gamescom, and then it's off for reviews and stuff like that, and we'll see what happens from there. So that's about it. This is pretty dang crazy. It looks like this is really happening. It's a real thing now, so um, the idea was always just weird to me, so I have no clue how this game in itself will actually play and, and feel. The, the idea is weird, but I'm trying to get over that now, so now with the actual game in mind and... This looks to be some pretty big, heavy-hitting stuff, so a big departure from the Mario series, and I don't know, completely out there for the Rabbit series, so we'll see how all that happens, and I guess it's just left up to E3, so E3 happens in a few weeks, we'll see what happens, I'll definitely try and play what I can if this is an actual thing and it gets revealed, and we'll go from there, so thank you guys for watching, tune in next time for more videos and more stuff covering... I guess this, and more Crash stuff, and lots of stuff happening on the channel. I'll see you guys later, take care.